Hi guys, so I thought today I would share with you the things that I have bought for um, Mr. B for his Christmas stocking. Now, you may have seen a video already on my channel this year and been like, well, hasn't she already done one of those videos? Well, yes, sort of, and no, sort of. Um, so the video that you saw before about stocking fillers for men, Mr. B, what I bought Mr. B, was actually last year's video. And quite a few people were like, you've got your tree up already. So what happened is I did record that video and uh, you know life just happens and it escapes you and all that kind of stuff i never actually got round to um to posting that video on my channel before christmas so i saved it and i thought i would um release it this year because actually um it was relevant still you know like some of the things that i showed in there were still very valid and relevant ideas but i thought i would actually do a proper this year's video as well um, for you guys so you can watch both you can watch last year's video with some still relevant stuff and also this year's video also I title it from Ben because this is literally what I have bought for my husband but it could be for any adult you know so it doesn't have to it's not gender specific um, but I just labeled that just because it kind of is what I literally bought John so I bought quite a few things um, which I'm going to show you I say quite a few it's not like masses um i always tend to buy a few extra little things because um when i'm out when i'm short shopping it's hard to kind of judge how much you can get in a stocking i find so i always prefer to buy like a couple of extra items knowing that when the stocking will be stuffed so i'm going to show you the little presents we do also have um some chocolate that will go in the stocking as well um but i haven't got those um here it's just it's Christmassy chocolate and you can pretty much buy like Christmassy chocolate everywhere really so um, and I've um, sourced um, pretty much pretty much all vegan chocolate for him so yay um, with all the things I'm going to show you I will pop links where I can in the description of the video below in case you're interested and you want to go and find them yourself so here we go so the first thing is this it's a shampoo bar it's by eco warrior um i actually bought this on boots so everything that i bought i haven't done any shopping in line on i haven't done any shopping in actual physical shops this year um because of covid i've just decided not to go to shops as far as i can help it and so far i've been pretty good like like this like i was i was placing an order with boots anyway and so i kind of like added a couple of extra things to my order and and um stuff like that so i've been pretty good i've done etsy amazon boot you know like loads of different places um so this is orange and ginger essential oils it's vegan and cruelty free it smells it smells really nice um we yeah we we use shampoo bars here rather than like bottled shampoos um so yeah he's got one of those in his stocking um it's also on the toiletries line he's got some hand cream from bulldog i bought this in with my usual online food shopping delivery um it's again it's cruelty free um john pack prints and packs all your guys orders and because he's working with paper a lot his hands get like really dry and um like working at the allotment and and stuff like that he gets like really dry hands so yeah he does like he does like a hand cream for his chap chapped hands so got him some hand cream <clears throat> um also on the toiletries line i have bought him a new toothbrush which isn't necessarily that exciting i suppose but um you know it's a little stocking stuff all right thing and i bought it on boots while i was doing my shopping so it's from the humble co and it's wooden is it wooden or is it bamboo i can't remember now it doesn't say it's not particularly obvious but um yeah so a toothbrush so i think that's it for like the toiletries thing so yeah on to on to other exciting things i need to get this out of the packet and go. um this i bought from etsy it is by b bumps and it's handmade in cornwall it's surf wax um so it's for waxing up your bodyboard or your surfboard um so for when you go surfing and this one is made for cold water so if you're into surfing it's nine degrees c to 14 degrees c so um it's eco surf wax it says um a natural product containing cornish beeswax and pine resin for maximum grip 
So if you've got any surfers in your family, like we are, so um, yeah, it's got some surf wax. <laughs> um, so yeah, as I said, links will all be down below. So this was a bit of a the le the least eco thing I've bought. I think is this. It's um it's a pineapple stress toy. You know, squishy toy. Um, he has a stress ball on his desk, not because um, he gets stressed, but like when he's on phone calls and stuff, I often notice him like fiddling with it, but it's actually been stolen by one of the children and one of the children bit it and took a chunk out of it and ruined it. So um, I bought him a new stress ball. He, he lives with us. He probably needs a stress ball. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, um, this next product, um, I both love it and disappointed with it in this, at the same time. So basically it came in a wood like a cardboard box and inside the cardboard box there's a cardboard bag a brown paper bag excellent um i'm gonna open now and inside are these you see now these are um seeds they're like little seed bombs so they've got seeds in the paper and they look like um, what do you call them? Christmas puddings. So I thought they were adorable, and I thought they were a lovely little stocking filler idea. So they're wild, wild flower seeds, I think. And I say I think because I can't remember. So I love them. I think they are beautiful and quirky and a great little stocking stuffer idea. The reason I don't like them is because they literally came in a brown paper bag like that. So I can't remember what they are. I'm going to have to look at the Etsy listing um, to see what they are. And I also thought that. Um, if you were buying these as a gift from someone, as a gift for someone, they would have no idea what they are. We, you, you wouldn't know, would you? Um, there's not even a, there's not even a business card in there to say who the who they were from, like who the company was or anything like that. So I was a little bit like, ah, I thought they'd come with like a business card with a label on to say, wildflower seeds scatter here or whatever. So it's not a biggie because obviously I can look at my listing and I can be like. Oh yeah, they're wildflower seeds. But you know, if you were giving them to someone else, then you'd have to write a note in them, I guess, and, um, to let them know what they are. Um, so next up, I bought him this <laughs> um, a card game. Guess who card game? It's not. I say it's for John, but it's really to play with the kids. <laughs> um, so you know, like my eldest daughter, she loves playing different card games and things. So this is really something that um he could enjoy playing with her or me i'd love i'd love to play this actually guess who in a card game um well we are not massive drinkers um but every now and then like particularly at christmas john likes a little tipple of port so i bought these in with um my weekly food shop um cockburn's port um fine tawny special reserve and fine ruby um i'm not sure if i'll put them in as one but I was actually thinking of like splitting them down into three and putting them in um, individually so there's those now the next items were sort of bought with the intention of them being stocking fillers but I think they might be too big so they might actually be just um, just presents which is which is fine we'll see I'm gonna wrap them up oh, what I do is I wrap them up see what fits in the stocking if it doesn't fit in the stocking he'll just get them on Christmas as a Christmas present. So the first thing, which some of you are probably going to find absolutely disgusting, but I thought it was quite cool. Um, an advert for these, this company popped up on my Facebook and I clicked on it. It's the Sauce, Sauce Shop and it's a Brussels sprout ketchup. <laughs> now we both really like Brussels sprouts. I thought it sounded interesting. So I bought it. <laughs> they do um, other sauces as well. It says a very unexpected flavour that just works. Sharp, sweet and spiced, like braised cabbage in a bottle. Try it with your Boxing Day leftovers in a turkey sandwich or even as part of your cheese board. So yeah, Brussels sprout ketchup. <laughs> Not everyone's cup of tea, but there you go. <laughs> um, the next item is something that um, me and our eldest daughter are probably going to steal, in all fairness. I wanted it for myself and I also thought about buying it for my eldest daughter but then I was like trying to think of Christmas present ideas that I could buy for John and I was like I'll buy him that 
and actually he will use it but also we can borrow it as well and it's this it's a, a digital microscope now um our home ed friends that we go to forest school with they have got this which is where i got the idea from it's fantastic it's awesome it was only a tenner so i was like wow and it works really well so basically it's um it's, it's a portable portable and um, you plug it into your phone it's got a stand as well but you can plug it into your phone and take it out with you and so you can find some like really exciting moss or lichen or fungi and use the microscope and it shows up on your phone so I'm actually really excited <laughs> um, yeah because as I said like our uh, our home ed friends have got one and I felt left out <laughs> me you borrow it when we go to forest school and stuff but um yeah so we've got one for the family which is for john but for the family you know he won't mind um next thing i uh, in hindsight i actually think this is way too big to go in his um stocking but you know it's an os map of hadrian's wall um we had a conversation ages ago and he was like do you know what i'd really like to do hadrian's wall that's a uh, an area of the country that i haven't really we haven't really explored so i bought him an os map so we can have a like a look at it and study it and maybe when the craziness of the world um dies down a bit maybe we'll be able to travel up north and go and do some of that um next up i bought this now we're all sort of really into stargazing and stars and i saw this and i thought it was beautiful it's a night sky almanac a stargazer's guide to 2021 and it's a really beautiful book um really really beautiful um and that's so if you're into like stars and stuff it just tells you it tells you like month by month what you can what you'll be able to see in the sky basically um, and lastly this is a joint oh also i have to say but usually after christmas both john and i usually do a video on our channels um sharing what we got for christmas so i have actually bought a few other items for john for christmas but they're larger so i'm not going to show you those because this is a stocking fillers video um but if you want to see what else he got for christmas um then go to his channel which is wholesome day and the link is down below in the description below and then after christmas he'll do a video and you can see everything that he got for christmas and he will probably do a commentary like he tends to do like a little commentary on the things he's got so you'll see when he opens this and you'll see like his thoughts on it so the very last thing which is sort of a joint which again i think is way too big for stocking really but you know is i bought some um derwent um color pencils and a journal because a sketchbook because um we do often as a family we go out on nature walks and um we'll often journal and john's getting more and more into doing that with us so i bought him some nice pencils and a journal but i think yeah that's gonna be um a present rather than a stocking filler but i thought i'd show it because if you've got like big stockings that you need to fill and need some ideas or whatever you know <laughs> there we go <laughs> um see white of brighton is my favored um sketchbooks i use them all the time um so share the love for those there we go guys i hope you enjoyed um having a little look and it's maybe given you some ideas i'll pop the links below it was all online so you should be able to um find these things so thanks for watching guys bye